What is a radioactive nucleus? Unstable nucleus that emits particles in decay to another nucleus. Where did Newton study? Newton was encouraged by his mother to become a farmer. But his uncle saw the talent Newton had for science and math and helped him enroll in Trinity College in Cambridge. Newton spent four years there, but he returned to his hometown of Woolsthorpe to flee. The spread of the Black Plague in 1665. During the two years that he spent studying in Woolsthorpe, Newton made his most notable developments of calculus, gravitation, and optics. How dark can it get on Earth during a solar eclipse? Some observers reported that they saw Venus and some of the brighter stars during a total solar eclipse. It is not entirely dark, however, because light comes from the sun's corona. The extremely faint glow surrounding the sun that is produced by ionized gases emitted by the sun. More light may come from reflection of light by the atmosphere in nearby areas not in the path of totality. The complete eclipse of the sun lasts for an average of about 2.5 minutes, but can last over 7 minutes. What do pounds per square inch, psi, measure? Measure of pressure in English system. What is biophysics? Study of the physical interactions of biological molecules. What is an electric field? Region that surrounds a charged object. Another charged object placed in that field will experience a force. How do rainbows occur? A rainbow is a spectrum of light formed when sunlight interacts with droplets. Upon entering a water droplet, the white light is refracted, and dispersed. That is, spread apart into its individual wavelengths, just as in a prism. The light inside the droplet then reflects against the back of the water droplet before it refracts and disperses as it exits the droplet. The angle between entering and leaving is 40 degrees for blue light, 42 degrees for red. What happens if you touch the Van de Graaff generator?
if you place your hands on the upper sphere while the generator is charging it the electric charges accumulating on the sphere move onto your body as they are repelled by the other charges when your body has enough charge your hair may stand up on and because the electric charges on the hair repel each other you won't be hurt because the current through your body is very small. Just don't touch anything or anyone else. What is a dip needle and how is it similar to a compass? A dip needle is just like a conventional compass. But instead of holding it horizontally, it is held vertically. It is a magnetic needle used for navigational purposes just like a compass. But is used predominantly when traveling around the north and south poles. Instead of measuring horizontal magnetic deflection, the dip needle measures vertical magnetic inclination. When over the equator, the magnetic field of Earth is parallel to the surface of the Earth. The closer one gets to the magnetic poles, however, the less pilots rely on compasses. And the more they rely on dip needles to tell them how close they are to the poles. The closer one gets to a pole, the more vertical the magnetic field becomes. Because it's turning into the surface of Earth. Therefore, when directly over the magnetic poles, the dip needle points directly downward. What is a fluid? A liquid or gas that can flow and assume the shape of its container. What is the little green wire or plate on the 3 to 2 adapter? The green wire or metal tab attached to adapters is the grounding wire. Since the adapter is circumventing the ground prong, an alternate means of grounding is needed. If the screw on the outlet plate is grounded, the green wire on the adapter should be attached to it. This way, if there is an electrical short, the current can still flow through the grounding wire. If the screw is not grounded, then the adapter should not be used. An outlet tester that is available at most hardware stores can be used to make sure the screw is grounded. What are Newton's laws of motion? You have just explored how force and mass affect acceleration. Sir Isaac Newton, 1642-1727, summarized these results in what is called Newton's second law of motion. For a single force, like you used, it can be written as Acceleration is equal to the force applied divided by the mass, or A equals F slash M. That is, the acceleration, A, varies directly with the force applied, F. The stronger the force, the greater the acceleration. And it varies inversely with the mass, M. 
the larger the mass, the smaller the acceleration. What is the difference between force and pressure? Why does the stiletto heel of a woman's shoe sink deep into the ground while if she wears a running shoe the heel does not? The force on the two heels is the same. What is different is the force divided by the area of the heel. The quotient of force divided by area is much larger on the stiletto heel. That quantity is called the pressure. As an example, consider the case of a 110 pounds, 50 kilograms or 490 N. Woman who first wears shoes with heels 1.5 cm by 1.5 cm. The area of each heel is about 2.2 square centimeters. Assuming that she puts all her weight on the two heels, the pressure will be 500 n slash 4.4 square centimeters or 4.5 n slash cm2. Pressure is usually expressed in pascals. Pa, or n slash m2. In this case the pressure would be 1.1 million pascals or 1100 kPa. If she were to wear running shoes with heels about 7.5 by 7.5 cm then the pressure would be only 45 kPa. The pressure of air is about 101 kPa. Why does a rubber balloon that has been rubbed in your hair stick to a wall? The attraction between a charged balloon and a wall is the result of electrostatic forces. When rubber is rubbed on human hair or a wool sweater, electrons transfer easily to the rubber balloon. The balloon is charged by rubbing the hair or sweater. Fuzz may stand up as a result of the excess positive charges repelling each other. When the balloon is brought near the wall, it polarizes the wall. Moving the positive sources toward it and repelling the negative charges away. The negatively charged balloon is attracted to the many positive charges in the wall. As long as the electrostatic force and frictional force between the balloon and the wall are stronger than the gravitational force pulling the balloon down, the balloon will remain on the wall. How do wind instruments like flutes, saxophones, and trumpets produce sounds? In wind instruments the column of air is the oscillating object. The musician must create the oscillation. Perhaps you have blown over the top of a soda bottle and created a tone. When you blow some of the air goes into the bottle. That increased air pressure is reflected off the bottom of the bottle and returns to the top where it deflects the blown air upward. This process repeats. Resulting in a tone whose frequency depends on the length of the bottle. The energy in your breath is converted into the energy of oscillation of the air in the bottle. A flute works in a similar way, where the player blows over a hole in the side of the flute. The other end of the flute is open. 
The sound wave is reflected because the impedance in the tube is different from that of the room air. The spectrum of a flute contains all harmonics. If the player blows harder and changes the location of her top lip she can make the flute play one or two octaves higher. In other words, the fundamental frequency of the flute is increased by a factor of two or four. The frequency of a flute or other woodwind instrument can be changed by opening holes along the side of the instrument. This shortens the length of the oscillating air column, increasing the frequency. In a saxophone or clarinet the vibrations are caused by a thin piece of wood called the reed. The player blows through a gap between the reed and the instrument's mouthpiece. The pulse of air is reflected off the end of the instrument and returns to the reed. Pushing it open to admit another pulse of air. Double reed instruments like the oboe and bassoon work in the same way. The clarinet is shaped like a cylinder. Its spectrum consists of only the odd harmonics, 1, 3, 5, and 7. Etc. A clarinet can be played in a higher register by opening a small hole near. The mouthpiece that strongly reduces the amplitude of the fundamental tone. The new pitch is an octave and a fourth higher than the lower register. Saxophones are not shaped like cylinders, but like cones. As a result all harmonics are included in its spectrum. And opening the register key raises the instrument's pitch by one octave. In a bugle, trumpet, trombone, French horn, or other brass instrument the oscillations are caused by the player's lips. The lips act as a valve, causing pulses of air into the instrument, which causes the oscillations in the air column. In a brass instrument the fundamental tone is absent. By adjusting the tightness of the lips the player can cause the instrument to play at the second, third, fourth harmonic, etc. The valves on a brass instrument add small lengths of tubing, lowering the pitch. In a trombone the length of the tube can be varied continuously, allowing any frequency to be played. The spectrum of a brass instrument depends strongly on its pitch and loudness. The louder it is played, the more energy there is in the higher harmonics. Some synthesizers like this one use keyboards to select the sound to be generated. While others use computers. The ability of a synthesizer to imitate various instruments is accomplished using frequency modulated synthesis to create voices. If white is the combination of the colors of the rainbow, what is black? Black the exact opposite of white light, is the absence of light or the absorption of all light. It may seem obvious to us, but Newton was the first to recognize this fact. A black piece of paper appears black because all the light is being absorbed in the paper none is reflected back out to our eyes. What is a resistor?
device used in electrical and electronic circuits to put a definite resistance in a circuit. What is latent heat? Energy needed to change phase of matter. What is the relationship among frequency, wavelength, and velocity? Suppose you shake a rope up and down at a constant rate. The rate or frequency is the number of times your hand is at the top of its motion per second. As the waves move along the rope, the distance between the crests of the rope, the wavelength, will remain the same. The wavelength depends both on the frequency of oscillation and on the velocity of the wave along the rope. The relationship is velocity equals frequency x wavelength, v equals x, or wavelength equals velocity slash frequency, x equals v slash f. Therefore, if the frequency of a wave increased, the wavelength decreases while the velocity being a property of the medium, rope, doesn't change. The frequency and wavelength are inversely proportional to each other. Is there a highest temperature that can be achieved? Although there is an absolute zero temperature, there is no highest temperature. The highest temperatures achieved to date have been from nuclear explosions. Where the temperature can reach as high as 100 million kelvins. What is a coulomb of charge? A coulomb of charge is equal to the charge of 6.24 x 1018 electrons, negative, or protons, positive. A coulomb is a very large charge. Objects that are charged by rubbing or induction have typically a microcoulomb, 106C, of charge. What is a generation, NG, cell phone? One G analog voice phone calls. Two G digital signals with more simultaneous users. Three G able to receive television like video, video images. 4G very high speed networks. What is graviton? Particle that carries the gravitational force. What is an aneroid barometer? Device to measure gas pressure in which the elastic top of an extremely low pressure drum is bent by the pressure.
What is frequency, F? How many cycles of an oscillation occur per second? What are Young's modulus? Applied pressure, called stress. Divided by the ratio of the change in length to the original length, called strain. What is compression? Region of higher pressure in a longitudinal wave. What is diamagnetic? Caused by circling electrons that create their own magnetic field. Material is repelled by magnetic fields. What is the stainless steel? A non-rusting alloy of iron and chromium and nickel. May also contain silicon, molybdenum, and magnesium. What is the relationship between frequency and period? Frequency, F, is how many cycles of an oscillation occur per second and is measured in cycles per second or hertz, hertz. The period of a wave, T, is the amount of time it takes a wave to vibrate one full cycle. These two terms are inversely proportional to each other, F equals 1 slash T and T equals 1 slash F. For example, if a wave takes one second to oscillate up and down, the period of the wave is one second. The frequency is the reciprocal of that, one cycle slash SEC, because only one cycle occurred in a second. If, however, a wave took half a second to oscillate up and down, the period of that wave would be 0.5 seconds and the frequency would be the reciprocal, or two cycles per second. So, you see that a wave with a long period has a low frequency. While a wave with a short period has a high frequency. Are electrons waves or particles? The electrons in an atom are not confined to one region of space, but are spread out. They are acting more like waves than particles. In Louis de Broglie's 1892 to 1987 1924 doctoral thesis, he proposed that electrons behave like waves with a wavelength given by x equals h slash mv, where h is Planck's constant and m and v the mass and velocity of the electron. The thesis was forwarded to Einstein, who enthusiastic ally endorsed the idea and recommended that the thesis be approved. 
De Broglie was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1929 for this work. The de Broglie wavelength is associated with any particle. Although for an object the size of a baseball it is much smaller than the diameter of a nucleus. The de Broglie wavelength of a particle determines its wave-like properties. Just as light photons interfere with themselves in a two-slit experiment, so do particles. The interference of electrons, atoms, and even molecules as large as C60, so-called buckyballs, has been observed, and the measurements fit de Broglie's wavelength perfectly. So, both matter and light can act like either a particle or a wave. This phenomenon is given the name wave-particle duality. What is a kilocalorie, kcal or cal? The food calorie used to measure energy content in foods. What is a rarefaction? Region of lower pressure in a longitudinal wave. What is the origin of Earth's magnetic field? The source of Earth's magnetic field is its core, made of iron, so hot that it is molten. It rotates at a slightly different rate than does Earth. And this difference creates what is called a dynamo effect, generating a magnetic field. Details of how the dynamo effect works are still a matter that is under investigation. What are common methods of heating a home? Homes using forced air heat have a furnace that heats the air in it and a fan that blows the hot air into heating ducts that allow the hot air into the rooms. It rises and forces the colder air out of the room through return ducts, the entrance to which are usually near the floor. Hot water heat has pipes carrying hot water that have fins on them. The fins promote convection of air past the hot water pipe. This warmed air then circulates through the room. Electrical baseboard heat works in the same way. Electric resistance wiring in the floor or ceiling can warm the air in contact with these surfaces. Again creating convection currents. Convection is the movement of thermal energy through a fluid, such as liquid or gas. What are the properties of magnets? You've probably played with magnets since you were a child. It is likely that you found that magnets attract some materials but not others. You may have found that you can use a magnet to magnetize items like paper clips, nails, and screws. If you played with two magnets you found that they could either attract or repel each other. 
Whether you played with metal bar shaped magnets, rectangular or circular ceramic magnets. You found that the magnet exerted stronger forces at the ends or faces of the magnets. Those regions are called poles. If you hang the magnet from a string, so it can rotate freely you'll find the magnet orienting itself north to south. The end facing north is called the north pole, the other the south. Like poles repel each other while unlike poles attract, but either end can attract other materials. Children often discover some of the properties of magnetism by playing with bar magnets and metal shavings. In this way, you can easily discover that magnets have opposite poles and create magnetic fields. Magnetic poles always come in north-south pairs called dipoles, two poles. Some theories predict the existence of isolated north or south poles, called monopoles. But, there have been extensive searches for monopoles over the past decades and none has ever been found. Who demonstrated that electromagnetic waves exist? Heinrich Hertz, 1857-1894, was a German physicist who was the first person to demonstrate that electromagnetic waves existed. He designed a transmitter and receiver that produced waves with a 4-meter wavelength. He used standing waves to measure their wavelength. He showed that they could be reflected, refracted, polarized, and could produce interference. It was Hertz's breakthroughs in electromagnetic waves that paved the way for the development of radio. In 1930 Hertz was honored by having the unit of frequency, which was cycles per second, replaced by the Hertz, Hertz. What is dark energy? For the first 10 billion years of the existence of the universe the attractive forces of gravity on matter both ordinary and dark slowed the expansion of the universe. But beginning about 5 billion years ago the universe began to expand at an increasing rate. Two studies of Supi movie have documented this acceleration. The cause of this expansion has been called dark energy, but the nature of dark energy is totally unknown. It interacts only via gravity and is very dilute. One possibility is that Einstein's general relativity has to be modified by the addition of a cosmological constant. Einstein himself considered such a constant, then discarded it, calling it his biggest blunder. The problem with such a constant is that particle physics estimates the value, in proper units, of 1. But the value required to explain the extra expansion is 10120. This huge discrepancy cannot be explained. What is electrical power? Given by P equals IX power equals current times voltage.
What are some other places where hydraulic lifts are used? Besides their valuable use in auto repair shops, hydraulic lifts are used in elevating crane and backhoe arms. Adjusting flaps on airplanes, and applying brakes in automobiles. It is the non-compressible characteristics of liquids that make hydraulic devices so useful. Oil is used rather than water because it does not freeze. This heavy crane boom uses hydraulics to lift the boom. How do the charged regions of clouds and the ground act as a giant capacitor? A capacitor consists of two conducting plates with opposite charge separated by an insulator. When a wire is connected between the two plates, a large electric current flows the charges rapidly from one plate to the other, neutralizing the capacitor. The charged regions of the clouds act as conducting plates while the air between them acts as the insulator. The same thing occurs between the lower section of the cloud and the ground. The air between these sections acts as the insulator, but when the forces exerted by the charges on the air molecules are large enough, they can rip the electrons from the molecules. The result is a positively charged molecule, called an ion, and a free electron. The air is changed from an insulator to a conductor. The mobile electrons gain more energy, creating more and more ions and additional free electrons. When the electrons and ions combine again light is emitted. The tremendous amount of energy released rapidly heats the surrounding air, producing thunder. What is a pewter? An alloy of tin with copper, bismuth, and antimony. Why then, don't we see a violet sky? Our eyes are most sensitive to colors in the midsection of the spectrum, about 550 nanometers. Because blue is closer to this wavelength, our eyes are more sensitive to it than indigo and violet. What is an impulse? The product of force and the time the force is applied. How was the connection between electricity and magnetism discovered? The close connection between electric current and magnetic fields was discovered quite by accident. In 1820, Danish physicist Hans Christian Ørsted (1777–1851) gave a lecture on the heating effects of an electric current on a wire. A compass happened to be near the wire, and he was. 
surprised to see the compass rotate when the current was on. He had been looking for connections between electricity and magnetism for several years. But expected that the compass would point away from the wire. Instead he found that the compass pointed in a circle around the wire. Above the wire it pointed perpendicular to the wire. Below the wire it also pointed in the perpendicular, but in the opposite direction. What technologies have developed as a result of superconductivity? Superconductors are most commonly used in large electromagnets. With no resistance, once the current is started, it will continue forever without change. Therefore the magnets dissipate no power and do not heat up. These magnets are most often used in magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, machines. An MRI allows a doctor to view the inside of the human body without using harmful radiation. They are also used in particle accelerators that reveal the fundamental structure of matter by smashing the nuclei of atoms together. The most powerful accelerator is the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, in Switzerland. Another application of superconductivity is the squid. Superconducting quantum interference device, that is an extremely sensitive detector of magnetic fields used in geological sensors for locating underground oil. What is a lever? A lever is a bar that rotates around a fulcrum or pivot. The locations where the input and output forces are exerted relative to the location of the pivot determines the class of the lever. As shown on page 76, the width of the arrows illustrates the force while the length shows the distance moved. What is a wave? A traveling disturbance that moves energy from one location to another without transferring matter. Do electrons and neutrinos interact with quarks and gluons? Electrons and neutrinos are called leptons, meaning a lightweight particle. They don't participate in the strong interaction, so they don't interact directly with quarks and gluons. They are, however, involved in the weak interaction through two additional force carrier particles. The W and Z bosons that can interact with quarks. Beta decay involves neutrons, protons, electrons, and neutrinos. What will happen to the ever-expanding universe? If the acceleration of the universe continues in many billion years galaxies. 
beyond the Milky Way and its companions will become invisible because their apparent velocity as seen from Earth would exceed the speed of light. In some models dark energy would rip apart all galaxies and solar systems and eventually become so strong that it could tear apart atoms and even nuclei. The universe would end in what has been called the Big Rip. In other models gravity would again take over. Causing the universe to contract and end in the Big Crunch. More measurements of acceleration are needed to decide between these two ultimate ends. What is a shock wave? Just as a boat moving through the water forms a series of V-shaped waves. Airplanes create conical, cone-shaped, waves as they fly through the air. The waves that the airplane produces are waves of compressed air. When an aircraft reaches the speed of sound. Mach 1, the plane's pressure waves that move at the speed of sound overlap each other. Creating a shock wave. The shock wave creates one single, loud sonic boom heard by observers on the ground. When the plane travels slower than the speed of sound. The sound waves do not overlap and instead of hearing a sonic boom, observers simply hear the delayed sound of the plane. You can think of sound waves as being similar to water waves. Emanating from a central source and spreading out in a regular pattern unless they are interfered with. What is black? The absence or the absorption of all light. Is there a difference between work and energy? Between heat and thermal energy? Energy, whether kinetic, stored, or thermal, is a property of an object. Gravitational field energy is a property of the gravitational field. Work and heat are means of energy transfer. Work is transfer by mechanical means. Heat is transfer between two objects with different temperatures. Examples of work are you throwing a ball, a slingshot launching a stone, a ball being caught in a mitt. Examples of heat are your hand being warmed by putting it in hot water. A bottle of soda being cooled in a refrigerator, and earth's surface being warmed by sunlight. What is a real image? A concave mirror or a convex lens can redirect light from an object so that it does converge to a single point. That point is a real image. It is in front of a concave. Mirror and on the other side of a convex lens from the object. If you place a screen, piece of paper, or wall at the location of the image you will see it on that surface.
How does heat flow by conduction? When part of a substance is heated its thermal energy is increased. The fast moving atoms or molecules strike the slower moving cooler atoms. They begin to move faster. And so gain thermal energy. Their temperature increases. The ease of conduction depends on the material. Most metals are good conductors even a small difference in temperature produces heat flow. Other materials are poor conductors. There can be large temperature differences without significant heat flow. In that case one part of the substance is hot, another cold. Heat conductivity is higher in metals that have freely moving electrons. So copper, silver, gold, and aluminum are good conductors. Stainless steel is a poor conductor. In nonmetals conductivity depends on their ability to transfer vibrations of the atoms. The conductivity of ice. Concrete, stone, glass, wood, and rubber is less than 1 slash 100 that of metals. Conductivity depends on the material, its thickness, the area it covers, and temperature difference. Light gases have better conductivity than heavier gases. For example the heavy gas argon is used to fill the space. Between dual pane windows because of its lower heat conductivity. What is a charging by contact? Results when a neutral object touches a charged object. Are other muscles and bones in your body so easily characterized? Most are not because tendons that transmit the force from the muscle to the bone are long and go through several bends. Consider sports equipment like baseball bats, tennis rackets, and golf clubs. They are often used as extensions of your arms. So the person plus the bat or club has to be examined together. But note that in every case the SYS TEM is a third class lever. Where a large distance moved, and therefore greater speed, is favored over an increased force. What is steel? An alloy of iron and a small amount of carbon. Other metals may be added. Did physicists recognize the military uses of fission? Lisa Meitner had recognized that extra neutrons could produce a chain reaction that would produce a very large amount of energy. In early 1939 physicists from many countries attempted to create such chain reactions by slowing down the released neutrons. Among these were Enrico Fermi and a Hungarian-born physicist. 
Leo Szilard. They saw signs that such a reaction had occurred. In August 1939 Szilard drafted a letter to President Franklin D. Roosevelt, 1882-1945, that the German results could lead to in an extremely powerful new weapon. To give his letter more weight he convinced Einstein to sign the letter. It worked. Roosevelt directed the government to support fission research and created the Uranium Committee. While there were several important studies during the next three years, it was the British who made the breakthrough finding that the rare isotope uranium-235 could be used in a weapon. The Americans were informed but ignored the results until a personal visit by one. Of the British team members convinced the Uranium Committee of the need for action. The United States then established a new office that could authorize large scale engineering projects. Enriched in Uranium 235 created a need for enrichment plants. One method chosen had been developed in California. Uranium metal would be evaporated in a vacuum. The atoms went through a narrow slit and then into a region with a strong magnetic field. Because of their mass difference the two isotopes followed slightly different paths. The atoms condensed on the surfaces of separate containers. Dozens of giant machines, called calotrons, were built in a plant in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Chosen because abundant electricity was available from the nearby hydroelectric plants. Not enough copper was available to wind the coils for the magnets so 70,000. 000 pounds of silver bullion were borrowed from the U.S. Treasury to be formed into wires for the machines. Somewhat enriched uranium from the calotrons was then combined with fluorine to produce the gas U6. Because of the mass difference of the two isotopes 235U6 would diffuse through porous membranes slightly faster, about 0.5%, than its more massive counterpart. Thousands of separations were needed to produce weapons grade uranium, 85 to 90 percent 235U. The plant at Oak Ridge built to accomplish this gaseous diffusion had an area of 2 million square feet. Employed 12,000 workers, and cost the equivalent of $6.2 billion in 1999 dollars. At one time it consumed 17% of all the electricity produced in the United States more than New York City. What concerns did pilots and engineers have about breaking the sound barrier? To reach the sound barrier in an airplane was a major goal for many in the aeronautical field. A goal that carried some uncertainties. Pilots and engineers alike wondered and feared what would happen to a plane's maneuverability when it broke through the shockwave as well as what would happen to the plane itself, structurally. Near the end of the Second World War there were fighter planes that were very strong and had powerful engines and experienced pilots. A number of pilots died when their planes broke apart in mid-air, often when in dives. There were two problems with these aircraft, first. The wings were not swept back, and second, 
they were driven by propellers. As the shock wave forms near Mach 1, it bends backward from the nose of the plane. Like a bow wave on a boat. If the shock wave encounters the wings, that is. The wing extends through the shock front, there are tremendous forces on the wings. In a supersonic plane the wing is always designed to be fully behind the shock front. Because the shock front can tear the wing off the plane. The propeller causes a pulsation in the pressure on the wing, every time one of the blades goes by. It produces a region of slightly higher pressure behind it, followed by a region of low pressure. All of these things came together and helped cause mid-air structural failures of the World War II fighter planes. What holds the quarks together in a proton or neutron? Eight different massless force carriers called gluons exert the force that holds quarks together. Gluons are members of the boson family. Bosons have integral spin while quarks, electrons, and neutrinos have half integral spins and are called fermions. Bosons can be created or destroyed while fermions can be created only if an ant fermion is also created. A single fermion cannot be destroyed unless an anti fermion is simultaneously destroyed. What astronomical methods have been used to measure the speed of light? The Danish astronomer Ole R. Zero Mayer, 1644-1710, measured the orbital period of Jupiter's innermost moon, Io. He found the period was shorter when Earth was approaching Jupiter than when it was moving away from it. He concluded that light travels at a finite speed and estimated that it would take light 22 minutes to travel the diameter of Earth's orbit. Christian Huygens combined this estimate with an estimate for the diameter of Earth's orbit. He concluded that the speed of light is 220,000 km per second. In 1725 the English astronomer James Bradley noted that the location of a star changed with the seasons. He proposed that the shift was due to the addition of the speed of light and the speed of Earth in its orbit. Bradley observed the shift in several stars and determined that light traveled 10. 210 times faster than Earth in its orbit. The modern result is 10,066 times faster. How is a compass made? A compass is a magnetized metallic pointer that can rotate about a low friction pivot point. Sometimes the pointer is placed in a container of liquid to dampen the movement of the pointer. The magnetic pointer aligns itself with the north-slash-south orientation of Earth's magnetic field. And the person using the compass can determine what direction he or she is headed by looking at the pointer. How can a machine with a mechanical advantage less than or equal to 1 be useful?
if a simple machine has a mechanical advantage less than one then you exert a larger force on it than it puts on whatever object it contacts. The output force is less than the input force. What distinguishes objects that sink from those that float? An object will sink if the downward forces on it are larger than the upward forces. There are two downward forces. The force of the liquid above the object and its weight, the force of gravity. The upward force is the force of the liquid below it. Let's think of a cubic object of height h and area of the top and bottom a. Its volume, V, is then given by V equals HA. Density is the mass divided by the volume, or P equals M slash V. Let's start by considering the difference in water pressure between the bottom and top of this cube. Pressure is force divided by area, so, using L bottom equals top plus water GH. We can write F bottom slash A equals V top slash A plus water GH so F bottom equals V top plus water carat HA. Now we recall that HA is the volume of the cube and water HA is therefore the mass of the water. Water, whose place is taken by the cube of matter. The net downward force on the object in the water is then the force. On the top plus the object's weight less the force on the bottom. That means Fnet equals Fi top plus Mobjek, bottom from the results of the paragraph above. Fnet equals Mobjek, Mwaterg. Therefore, if the object's mass is larger than the mass of the water whose place it takes, it sinks. If the mass is smaller, then it will rise. Weight is the mass times the gravitational field strength, g, so the net force is Fnet equals Wobject, weighter. The water whose place the object takes is normally referred to as the water displaced by the object. What is a converging lens? A converging lens has at least one convex side. Its shape causes the entering light rays to converge, that is, come closer together. A converging lens can create a real, inverted image that may be projected on a screen. When used as a magnifying glass it creates a virtual, upright image. What is the principle of equivalence? A central tenet of Einstein's general theory of relativity. The laws of physics in an accelerating reference frame or a gravitating frame are indistinguishable. You can't tell the difference between falling or being acted on by gravity. Requires that inertial mass equals gravitational mass. Who was the first American to win the Nobel Prize in Physics? In 1907, 
for the development of extremely precise measurements for the velocity of light and his work on optical instruments, German-born Albert A. Michelson, a naturalized U.S. citizen, won the Nobel Prize in Physics. How did Einstein describe the gravitational field? Einstein in his general theory of relativity showed that the gravitational field was actually a distortion of space-time caused by the mass of the object. Because space-time has four dimensions that are very difficult to visualize. The distortion is best seen with a two-dimensional model. Often the model consists of a rubber sheet in which a bowling ball is placed, see illustration on page 39. The sheet is pulled down by the ball, which represents the sun. Earth is a tiny ball that is placed on the sheet and given a push perpendicular to the direction of the sun. This ball orbits the sun a few times until friction causes it to speed up and spiral into the sun. In the words of physicist John Wheeler, space-time grips mass, telling it how to move. Mass grips space-time, telling it how to curve. Where is the longest bridge in the United States? The longest bridge in the United States, a SUS pension bridge, ranks as the sixth longest bridge in the world. The Verrazano Narrows Bridge is between Staten Island and Brooklyn, New York. This bridge, completed in 1964, spans 1,298 meters, 4,260 feet. The span between the towers of the Mackinac Bridge that links the upper and lower peninsulas of Michigan at 1,158 meters, 3,800 feet, is shorter than that of the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. But when measured by the distance between the cable anchorages it is the longest. Bridge in the Western Hemisphere The length of the entire bridge, shore to shore, is 5 miles. What do Celsius temperatures feel like? If you live in the United States you learn what various temperatures feel like. You recognize that 86 degrees Fahrenheit is typical of a hot summer day and that minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit is a very cold winter day. What is the natural oscillation frequency? A property of an object that can vibrate depends on the mass and force that restores object to equilibrium position. What is the Nobel Prize? The Nobel Prize is one of the most prestigious awards in the world. It was named after Alfred B. Nobel, 1833-1896, the inventor of dynamite. 
he left $9 million in trust, of which the interest was to be awarded to the person who made the most significant contribution to their particular field that year. The awards, given in the fields of physics, chemistry, physiology, and medicine. Literature, peace, and economics, are worth over $1,400,000, and a great deal of recognition. What is Carnot efficiency? Largest efficiency that a heat machine can obtain. E equals thought cold slash thought cathode negative electrode or terminal on E. G a battery, electrolytic cell, or cathode ray tube. What is the potential difference? Difference in electric potential or energy difference divided by charge, also called voltage. What are other uses for microwaves besides communication? In addition to having a great range of frequencies to transmit information. Microwaves are used every day in kitchens around the world. Microwave ovens generate 2.4 GHz waves and scatter them throughout the oven. The microwaves excite water and fat molecules into resonance and cause them to rotate. Increasing their thermal energy. Different kinds of molecules absorb the energy at different rates. So some foods are heated more than others. Microwave safe containers are made of materials that do not absorb microwave energy and so remain cool. When a solar eclipse occurs, is the entire Earth in the moon's shadow? The shadow of the moon only covers an area of about 300 kilometers in diameter. This shadow, the umbra, moves along a path of Earth's surface at about 1,000 miles per hour. In the penumbra a partial eclipse is seen, but even this path is quite narrow. How fast does sound travel in different media? A simple model that explains the main factors affecting the speed of sound is a collection of balls. Molecules, connected to each other by springs, bonds between molecules. Vibration from one ball will be transferred by the springs to neighboring balls. And in succession throughout the collection. The stiffer the springs and the lighter the balls, the faster the vibrations will be transferred. The springs are a model of the bulk elasticity, how the volume changes when the pressure on it changes. Of the material, the balls, and their spacing model the density of the material. In general, the speed is slowest in gases, fastest in solids. 
even though liquids and solids are about 1000 times denser than gases. The greater elasticity of liquids and solids more than compensates for the larger density. In gases the speed depends on the kind of molecule and temperature. For air, the speed depends only on temperature. The following table illustrates some examples of the speed of sound in different media. What is the standard model? The description of all the particles described below is called the standard model. A model is something like a theory in that it is intended to explain observations. But it is not as complete as a theory. The standard model works very well, but there are still many questions about it. Some of these will be explained below. In what can charge be stored? In November 1745 Ewald Jürgen von Kleist, 1700-1748, Dean of a Cathedral in Pomerania. Put a nail into a small medicine bottle and charged it with an electrical machine. When he touched the nail he received a strong shock. In March 1746 Peter van Muschenbroek, 1692-1761, a professor at the University of Leiden in Holland. Performed a similar experiment with the device, now called the Leiden jar. What is static? Not moving. All the forces and torques acting on a body must sum to zero the net force on the body is zero so the object does not move or rotate. What challenges are there in building skyscrapers? The first challenge is to design a foundation that can support the tremendous weight of a large building. The best way is to dig down to the bedrock. This can be as close as about 21 meters, 70 feet. In New York City to almost 61 meters, 200 feet, in Chicago. If the distance is short holes can be bored and concrete piers can be formed in the holes. More frequently a caisson is required. This is a large hollow waterproof structure that is sunk through the mud. Pulling it into and then out of the top of the caisson. A third method is go build a large steel and concrete underground pad that floats on the top of a hard clay layer. The load that the foundation must support includes the weight of the building, its furnishings and equipment, and the changing load of occupants. In addition to the loads, strong winds must also be considered. The walls of early tall buildings were construct of masonry that supported the weight of the building. The 16-story 65.5 meter, 215 foot, high Manadnock building in Chicago. 
built from 1889 to 1891, required 1.8 meter, 6 foot, thick walls at the base. It was so heavy that it sank, requiring steps to be constructed between the sidewalk and the ground floor. The second half of the building used a steel frame on which masonry was attached. Allowing much wider windows to be used. The steel frames can be bolted, riveted, or welded together. When the 59-story, 279 met ER, 915-foot, tall city group building was constructed in new. York City from 1974 to 1977 the frame was bolted together. But later computer models showed that if hurricane strength winds struck the building it would be in danger of collapse. As a hurricane moved up the eastern seaboard in 1978 workers hurriedly welded plates over the bolted joints. Luckily the hurricane moved out to sea, sparing New York. Another effect of winds on tall buildings is to make them sway back and forth. While a variety of braces can reduce the sway, they add weight to the building. Another method is now used. The city group building has a 400-ton concrete damper at the top. The damper moves back and forth, opposing the wind-driven motion of the building and reducing sway. Dampers, both liquid and solid, are used in tall buildings. Towers, offshore oil drilling platforms, bridges, and skywalks. The 210-meter, 690-foot, Burj Al Arab Hotel in Dubai has 11 mass dampers. The dampers can also mitigate the effect of earthquakes. Transporting large numbers of people into and out of upper floors is a challenge too. Those who design the elevator systems. As was demonstrated in the collapse of the world. Trade Center buildings on September 11, 2001, stairways can be used in emergency situations. But the simultaneous movement of occupants down and firefighters up the stairways caused severe problems. Another consideration is the safety of occupants in case of fire. Some buildings have entire floors designed to be especially fire resistant. So that people could gather there and be safer than on other floors.